Finally, a flat bar for people that do not like flat bars, such as myself. In this video, I'm going to review the Tumbleweed Persuader Handlebar. Find out what I like and dislike about it in this video. Welcome back Path Plus Peddlers, and if you're new to the channel, if you're into the non-competitive side of cycling, riding, party pace, you have found your people, hit that subscribe button. So one of the biggest barriers for me to get into mountain biking has actually been the handlebars. After years of working on the computer, anything that puts me in this position for too long just aggravates my carpal tunnel, shoots up my elbows, and it's just no fun. I've tried different handlebars like the Jones bar, which I do love, but is a little bit tricky to mount bags on, as well as bars with similar sweeps. Enter the Persuader bar by Tumbleweed. It's got a very generous wingspan at 800 millimeters wide, just a touch of rise of 50 millimeters, made out of triple butted heat treated chromoly and a nice amount of sweep at 30 degrees. These arrived last week for review and I immediately put them on and have fallen in love with them. At 30 degrees of sweep, it's a little bit less than the Jones bar, but for me more than enough to address that carpal tunnel pain I get when I'm riding a purely flat bar. So a little bit of sweep, not so much that it drastically affects the handling of your bike or takes away its technical ability on the trail. So I mounted the Persuader bar on the Salsa Timberjack, swapping out its standard flat bar. The Timberjack shipped with a 35 millimeter uh, stem, and that is 35 millimeters around the handlebar. So I did have to shim the 31.8 uh, Persuader bar to work with the stem. But if you have a mountain bike with a 31.8 clamp, shouldn't have to shim it at all. The stock bar on the Timberjack is relatively flattish. So the Persuader bar did minimize the reach a little bit as well as bringing up the controls with that little bit of rise. I found it super comfortable. I did notice it changed the handling characteristics a little bit, making it a little bit more responsive, but not so much that it detracted from the handling. So what are the things I love about this handlebar? The first thing is the rise. I do appreciate that 50 millimeters of rise. Timberjack has a little bit of a lower stack height and that rise does bring up the handlebars to a more comfortable position for me. I love the bends of the bars. For me, it's a multi-position bar. I can use it near the end of the bar on a descent, as well as where the flat part of the handlebar meets the sweep. I find that pretty comfortable for those flat sections of gravel roads. I think I might put some bike togs on there just so it becomes a more viable position and my hands don't slip over the top. I think it gives you some options when you're riding on the trail as well as when you're slogging it out on that gravel road. I also really like the aesthetics of the handlebar. I know this isn't what you should judge your handlebar choices on, but I love the smooth, subtle bends of the bar as well as this raw finish. It just looks awesome. Goes well with any bike. Another huge plus, especially if you like to go bike touring or bike packing, is that long flat section of the handlebar. It makes it really easy to mount handlebar bags or saddle bags like this Swift Industries bag. Most bars that have some kind of sweep, usually the handlebars sweep forward and then back, and that minimizes the mounting options. You can tell that this bar was designed for someone who does a lot of bike packing and prioritizes the ease of mounting. It's kind of reminiscent of the stock handlebar that I saw on the Marin Pine Mountain 2. That too had a flattish uh, crossbar section that made it easy for mounting bags. You can't buy that one aftermarket, so the Persuader bar is the next best thing. So those are the things I love. What are the downsides of this handlebar? I think one big one which might bother some people, doesn't really bother me so much, is the weight. On our scales, a handlebar weighs in at 640 grams. So almost double the handlebar replaced on the Timberjack. But for me, I'm willing to take that weight penalty because of the bars are so comfortable and so functional. Another downside is if you're a super technical mountain bike rider, the sweep may take away from some of the control. For me, I'm coming more from the bike touring side, entering mountain biking, and I have no real aspirations to do jumps or double black diamonds or ride Red Bull Rampage style, but to mostly either ride gravel roads or green and blue trails. And I think these handlebars with that slight amount of sweep can handle those trails no problem. If you're doing more extreme riding or trails, then the sweep may become more of an issue. For me, I love these bars. You know, I've ridden with Jones bars in the past and I love the multi-position aspect of them. As well. But I do find because of their extreme sweep, they tend to alter the, the handling feel of many bikes. And also they can be tough to mount bags on with that loop in the front. The Persuader bar has more subtle sweep, but still super comfortable. 
with the added benefit of making it really easy to mount bags on. And also I think it has a more neutral effect on handling if you're swapping from a flat bar to these bars. Different story if you're going from drop bars to these bars. If you're gonna put these on a mountain bike, it won't have that overly twitchy feel that you might get if you use a Jones bar. I think $135 is definitely not a small investment, but if you're looking for a bar like this, there are actually very few choices, so I think well worth the money. Ultimately, I'm still playing with the handlebar length. I may cut off an inch or inch and a half down the road, but for now, I'm gonna leave it long and see how I like it. So that's what I think. What do you guys think of this handlebar? Are any of you guys out there riding with the persuaders? Curious to see what your long-term experiences are. If you have any other questions, leave those in the comments below. And as always, keep the supple side,